Hey, what's up guys, your boy 82. Welcome to Big Tiny Tech Channel. This is your first time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that like button. All right, and share with your friends. On a side note, uh, we're still doing our $100 HNT giveaway, which is Helium giveaway token once we hit 500 subscribers. So the lucky winner, a lucky subscriber is gonna win $100 worth of HNTs once we we hit uh, 500 subscribers. Um, so today we're gonna do a quick uh, tutorial on how to fix the relay issues many are, are experiencing on their um, rock miners or any of the helium miners or more or less. Um, we're gonna open up, do the port forward in, in order to fix that. So um, it's gonna be a quick, quick one Okay, so in order to log into your router, by default is 192.168.1.1. So um, when you log in, today I'm gonna use my LinkSync as an example. Uh, many other routers are different. Um, like some, once you, it's your first time logging in, it's gonna be admin, then password, and others may have other um, other um, way of logging in, but make sure. And also, once you log in, make sure you change your password to something that you prefer. Don't leave it as default because you can easily be hacked and someone can have access to it. All right, once we do that, I'm gonna put my password. Click on the configuration. Then we're gonna click on security in the drop down we're gonna get we're gonna click on single on uh, port forward and like for other many other routers for example netgears you need to click on once you log in you have to click on advance in order to get to the, the um the drop down or to the option that will show you um that that says port forward and, um but either way and every router has the port forwarding, so you could be able to log into it. All right, so for link sync, we we'll click on configurations, security, we we'll click on single port forwarding, add new single port forwarding. And first and foremost, before you do that, make sure you know the IP of your miner. If you don't know the IP address to your miner, I suggest one cool software that I use is called advanced IP scanner once you click um, download it's free you download it click on scan it will scan everything all the devices on your network and it will now it will show you the, uh, the Mac and the IP address of each device that's connected to your network so um, this way you can easily get your IP address if you don't know your IP address. So here we're gonna type in the application name, we're gonna type in whatever the name of your rack or uh, your miner is. If it's a rack miner, bobcat, mouse site, whichever one. Okay, so today we're just gonna use Bobcat already. Um and the external port is 44158, and internal port is 44158 um, on the protocol you must use both don't use a single TCP or UDP it has to be both select both and then type in the remaining numbers of your um, of the IP the last quartet of your IP for the miner once you put it in you click no, before you do that, I click enabled, apply. Since I already have it set up already, so it won't go through mine, but once you do yours, it's gonna say successfully added. All right, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to open up your, um, your port and your router so your device can communicate freely without any interruption. As a result, it will eliminate that relay 
issue that many are getting on their right on their uh, helium miner and um, so you can now actually earn to your full potential all right um, if you like this video please like and subscribe and share with your friends and our hundred dollar giveaway um, token giveaway of HT is still on which help us get to that 500 mark of subscribers that we're trying to get to um the lucky winner will get hundred dollars worth of hnt but without further ado i have to go stress less think positive if you have any questions please feel free to ask me i'll be more than glad to help you all right peace